Mayor and Council, my name is Nancy Cheney. I live at 1333 Ponderosa Drive in Moscow. And I'm here to talk about the Third Street Corridor uh, between Paradise Creek and downtown. I encourage you to solicit recommendations from citizen commissions besides the Moscow Transportation Commission. I think it's possible for good ideas to come from the top down, as this bridge idea apparently has. But just because an idea has persisted on a map or a spreadsheet doesn't mean it hasn't uh, outlasted its practicality. Pride politics or checklist expediency ought not get in the way of considering other stakeholders' ideas about improving the corridor, whether or not a car bridge is installed. I do appreciate that you're receptive to input from the Transportation Commission and having sat in on their working group sessions, I'm encouraged that they set children's safety as a priority. That's something that was not reflected on the budgetary line item that included the bridge by itself. I compliment the working group and you for recognizing that such a bridge would not function in isolation and that it would increase hazards and have wider implications for the entire corridor and vicinity. It would have implications for more than just transportation. Moscow's strength, as kind of what, uh, what we just heard from Mark, is that it's not a place to simply pass through on the straightest, fastest arterial, but it's a place to linger and even to put down roots. So it's important for you to consider how the corridor modifications with or without a bridge would affect those aspects as well. For that reason, I encourage you to solicit recommendations from other city commissions and stakeholders about this prior to installing a bridge if one is installed at all. For example, the Fair and Affordable Housing Commission and the Human Rights Commission could address social justice and equitable treatment of residents regardless of their economic status, disability, age, country of origin, or other protected status. Moscow Arts Commission might confer with the boards of Rendezvous or Re Renaissance Fair or the Hemp Fest and others who rely on East City Park for revenue generating, community building, tourist attracting activities. Maybe you could ask the Planning and Zoning Commission to look at flexible lighting treatments that address neighboring residents' quality of life and the historic ambiance as well as safety. Maybe Moscow Farmers Market Commission and downtown merchants have something to say about their well-being amidst more through-bound traffic. As a resident and former elected official, I don't expect infallibility from representatives of government. I do expect you to be open enough and patient enough to truly consider the breadth of possibilities and humble enough to change your mind when outcomes can be improved for the community you serve. I thank you for your consideration. Thank you, Nancy.